some students are struggling with identifying text structure in their main ideas. So I want you to, and, and I mentioned this in class, remember that you are writing in text structure format and identifying text structure as you read by the transition words that the author is using to prove or to identify a main idea or have you focus on a main idea. So let's say on page six, I have for one of my main ideas is that um, she said his head was like a skull looking at her. So um, I have this as character because Miss Crawford, as I'm thinking about this and annotating, Miss Crawford is talking about Boo Radley. She's using a simile because it is comparing, it uses like or as what comparing two things uh, that aren't really the same, but to make a point. Uh, what it tells me is that Boo is kind of death-like and spooky, you know, a skull. So I think of the words. I think of head like a skull. A skull is dead, death, spooky, and so Boo is kind of spooky. Okay, so I've read over, and here's the second example. After reading, I'm going back and annotating. I see that I have a bunch of eyes. I was, I saw, I would. So something is important about learning about our narrative narrator scout because she's focusing on her. So whatever she's thinking about here um, has more to do with her than it does to the person she's talking about. So she's talking about her teacher, Miss Caroline, and it says, as I was the last to leave, I saw her. Oh, I see as here. Is that a device? No, it's not a simile because it's not comparing two things. So. As I was the last to leave, I saw her sink down into her chair and bury her head in her arms. Had her contact been more friendly toward me, I would have felt sorry for her. Okay, so I know this is a main idea. It's a main idea about the character Scout because of my anaphora, the repetition at the beginning of clauses. Um, and then I'm looking at the words to figure out the text structure. I have cause and effect here because the transition words like had I or if I, I would have, should have, could have. This is showing me that clearly something would have caused another. Therefore, it's cause and e uh, effect. If you just have description, yeah, it's kind of descriptive, but it's not really what we're saying. We're saying the, the main idea here is that the cause and effect, she sees her teacher upset about the day, but she doesn't feel sorry for her. So, you know, Scout's very observant, but she's kind of immature. She's showing no empathy that the teacher wasn't nice to her maybe because she doesn't know much about, and she's a new teacher, and she doesn't know much about what's going on. So it's, it's all focused on her feelings, not having empathy, and that she's immature.